A five-day trial and two guilty verdicts by a jury. We may have lost a battle here today, but we're not going to lose this war. Steve Bannon, a former strategist for the Trump administration, has been convicted of contempt of Congress. The overreaching by the government in this case has been extraordinary on every level. But shame on this office of the United States Attorney's Office and the Department of Justice for how far it went in this case. He faced two counts, one for refusing a subpoena to appear for a deposition with the January 6th House Select Committee, and another for failing to provide documents. The Justice Department prosecutors releasing this after the conviction, writing, the subpoena to Stephen Bannon was not an invitation that could be rejected or ignored. His refusal to do so was deliberate. He decided basically that he would thumb his nose at Congress and that he would go his own way. Well. You can't. Bannon is not the only former Trump administration official who has refused to talk to the committee and has been held in contempt. Peter Navarro will face trial in November, but also in November, the midterm elections, where it's possible Republicans could win a majority in one or both of the chambers. I think the Democrats are going to come to regret some of these aggressive things that they've done because in, in politics, as we all know, what goes around comes around. Bannon's sentencing is scheduled for October 21st. He faces 30 days to one year for each charge. His team says they will appeal. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.